Following on from the previous video, we got to a stage where we've worked out the, uh, the velocity of the particle at a time of, uh, of t equals 7 pi over 4. So we've worked out the velocity. Now let's work out the acceleration. So the acceleration in the previous video, the formula for the acceleration was given by this. So at time equals um, 7 pi over 4, we would put this, um, we would put this time into this t put it into this t, put it into this t. So this thing here will then become this. And then this thing here will then become this. This thing here will then become this. So we've worked out in the previous video that this block here is actually 1 over root 2. This block here is actually negative 1 over root 2. And then uh, if, you, if you look at this thing here, hang on. Um, uh, if you look at this thing here, well, let's, let's, let's imagine as like this, looking at this, let's imagine as pi over 2 uh, times 7. So 7 lots of 90 degrees, so 90 degrees, 1, so 7 lots of 90 degrees, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the dot would be right here. And then uh, remember, sign, sign you're concerned with the height cos you're concerned with the base and here when the dot is here the base will be zero so this whole thing here will be zero well I'm, I'm expecting you to know that um, uh, that cos 7 pi over 2 equals this thing I'm expecting you to know that sine this thing is actually negative root 1 over 2 and that this thing equals this I'm expecting you to know this already so this thing here is actually zero so this thing here will disappear so your acceleration vector is given by this okay and also um, if, if you want to know the speed the speed is uh, is given by this so if you want to know the speed if you want to know the speed put the time into this t here so that would be um, so 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 when you put this thing into the t uh, it would be it would be sine squared and then and then you've got two times uh, 7 pi over 4. I'm going to visualize the 4 as 2 times 2, and then this will cancel it with this. So it really becomes sine squared 7 pi over uh, over 2. Um, and then sine, let, let's just concentrate on sine. Sine, um, sine 7 pi over 2 would be would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the dots would be here. So the dot would be here. So uh, so when, when you want to know 7, uh, 7 pi over 2, um, well, 7 pi over 2 would be this angle here. 1 would be this angle here. So 7 pi over 2, well, sine is always concerned with the height. Cos, you're always concerned with the base. So when the dot is here, the, uh, the height would be negative 1. So negative 1 squared, so negative 1 because of this sign here, negative 1 squared would be 1. So that would be 25 times 1, which will be 25, which will be 25. And then you plus 4, so it would be root 29. Or well, the speed would be, uh, would be given by root 29 at time equals 7 pi over 4. Okay? And something else, um, veloc velocity can also be written as, as the magnitude of the velocity. Let, let's say this is your velocity vector here. The velocity can, be, can also be written as the magnitude times the, the unit direction. So let me just remind you, let's just imagine we've got a vector here. So what I'm trying to illustrate here is that velocity can also be written as this thing times this thing. Uh, and we've done this before, so this is just a reminder. Um, let's say you've got a vector 2 across, 2 across, 1, 2, 3 in the y direction, and let's say 5 in the z direction. So you've got this vector here. Um, let, let, you can always use Pythagoras to find out this, um, this magnitude. Let's say the magnitude, let's just say it is 7. So what you do is you get the direction, so, so the, uh, the vector will have a direction built into it. And then if, if, if the magnitude is, let's just imagine, imagine the magnitude is 7. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so, so you've got the man, let's just imagine the magnitude is 7. So you would get your, your vector 
and then you divide it by, you get your vector, and then you divide it by seven. So that will then, uh, remember, um, that, that will then give you this unit direction here of length one. Because if, you, if the magnitude is seven, and then you divide it by seven, then you're really extracting the direction of unit of length of magnitude one. So, so because the magnitude is seven, and then you divide it by seven, really this whole thing here is really your direction of magnitude one. So this thing here is your direction of magnitude one. And then when you times by the magnitude of the vector, it will give you, so, well, this thing here in our example, we're, we're imagining the mag vector to be seven. So, so, you, you, so, so if you get the magnitude times by the direction, this whole thing here is another way of writing this vector, where it's two and then three and then five. So, so this thing here is the same, uh, is another way of writing this, but sometimes it's useful for writing it in this, in this form. Well, we've done this before, so I'm, I'm just reminding you, you should know this already, okay?